And here is a bin of all yellow wool, a combination of roving, some roving here, and this is probably Norwegian. Uh, this, I can tell by the feel, is Norwegian. It's a little bit coarser, and it doesn't show the needles, uh, the needle as much when you, when you go into it. Uh, the roving sometimes does. This is more roving. This is more Norwegian. But look at the gorgeous colors. You can't really even see it, probably. Uh, this looks like I... No, this looked like pink got mixed in, but it wasn't. Um, and somewhere in here, I'm sure I have... I'm sure I have... Uh, the soft merino, probably. What I do is I take a bag and when I have little pieces left in the same color, I put it in the bag um, so that I can use it up, not waste wool too much. So here is my yellow and you can see that it's one of those large bins and I have how many? I think I have five of these. And here is the, <clears throat> the blue bin. Lots of gorgeous colors of blue from very light and here's the soft Merino. Um, you can see how soft that is. And the less, that's merino also. And the very dark, dark blue. And I have also green blues in here. So many colors of blue. Um, <clears throat> and here's another large bin of blue. So I have one in green and in red. I have a white and flesh color and brown box and a purple box. And this is a white craft felt bat from Z-Wool. It comes just like this in this size. And I usually get two or three of them at a time, sometimes four. I bought, um, I think, three and a half. Uh, my granddaughter's got the other half, uh, which I brought to Mexico last time, but I'm running a little low, so I think I'm going to have to order and luckily again they do sell and ship to Mexico. So this is wonderful stuff. Uh, with just a few um, hits of the needle it sculpts up really well and you can make it as firm as you want and make a really defined and hard shape if you like and then cover it with the much more expensive and beautifully dyed C1 and Merino or Roving.